Good morning, students. Welcome to English class. I hope you all are doing well. In today's English class, we are going to read the poem "The Road Not Taken." Who has written this poem? Robert Frost. Robert Frost. He was a very popular American poet, and he is highly regarded for his realistic descriptions of life in the countryside. Countryside means village. It's written over here. You can see. You can read this description. That it is written about the poet who has written this beautiful poem. This poem is about making choices in our lives, which is like choosing one path and not taking another. The speaker talks about reaching a place in the woods where two paths go in two different directions, and he needs to decide which one to take. Here, the poet is going through a wood, and he has to decide between the two roads. He has to choose one. it's like the life sometimes we are having different situations in our life and we have to choose one thing from so many things let's begin the poem two roads diverged in a yellow wood and sorry i could not travel both and be one traveler long i stood and looked down one as far as i could to where it went in the undergrowth here in this paragraph in first stanza the poet says that in a woods in the jungle there were two roads while he was traveling there there were two roads and both roads go in different directions both the roads diverged means they were separated and went in two different directions both the roads went in different directions as the poet was as the poet has used yellow wood yellow wood means the leaves were yellow maybe it was autumn season that's why leaves have turned yellow so here the poet is depicting the autumn season because it is showing the yellow colors that the leaf has turned yellow so and the next line the poet is saying that i'm sorry i could not travel both and the poet is sorry that he could not travel both the roads he is saying sorry to the roads then roads symbolizing choices in life that how we have to choose there are so many things in our life but we have to choose only one thing and here also poet is standing there and thinking as a traveler that which road he should choose he is finding it difficult to make a choice in both the roads so being a traveler he was looking there he was trying to stand there he was standing there and trying to decide that which way he should continue traveling he was thinking it that which road he should choose and which road will be the best for him and looked down as far as i could now the poet is looking at the roads that how as far as those roads are take going means as he was thinking that the roads he was thinking and seeing the roads he noticed that one of the roads bent in the trees and shrubs and finally disappeared he is seeing the roads that there are two different roads and both of the roads having different directions and each road is having different view on it to where it bent in the undergrowth undergrowth means a mass of bushes and plants that grow close together under trees and forests here the poet is thinking that ki which road he has to choose he should choose what he is saying that he is standing two roads diverge in a yellow wood he is standing there and thinking that which road he should choose he is standing in the woods and he is thinking that which road he should choose as a traveler he is finding so difficult to make a choice between those two roads then then took the other as just as fair and having perhaps the better claim because it was grassy and wanted wear though as for that the passing there had warned them really about the same now in the next stanza 
poet is saying that after the roads disappeared into the undergrowth the poet decided that he would take the other road as just as fair as just as fair means that poet can uh, it can have multiple meanings like the poet wants to say that the road is beautiful or the poet wants to say that it was fair option or the correct option he saying that maybe the road he is trying to choose is the fair option is the correct option to choose or we can say that hence he selecting that between two roads they may portray different destinies means different meanings means if he will choose one road then it would have a different meaning but if he will choose another road then it would have a different meaning so he is making one correct choice that he feels that ki i should take this road i should go on this road he has made his choice by thinking that it would be a fair option then what he says he then describes that that may be the road is better he that road which he is choosing is a better one because it has fresh grass grown on it and is not used much and people had not much use it so he should go on that road but it was grassy and wanted wear what does that mean that it is less people have not used that road much he thought that it's kind of looking new road so i should choose this one so he thought that he will be choosing that road though as for that the passing there had warned them really about the same now but when he started traveling on it he found that travelers have passed through this road also and it's same as the other one there is no difference in this road and that road it is also same no doubt the grass was fresh but still it is also used by the people people have passed through this road also then he noticed when he went through that road then from this we can observe that the poet quickly goes back to the statement that first he said the road is untraveled but when he walks on it he find he found out that it is equally traveled there is no difference in that road it is equally traveled by the people but in the uh, in the previous lines he thought that it is less traveled by but this road was also equally traveled by the people when he came to know this when he moved on that road then he knew that this road is also equally traveled by the people then next stanza also uh, one more thing i want i would like to add here ki also the poet says that ki path wanted wear path wanted wear means it's a path which cannot be described or which who wants to wear who wants that humans should come on it humans should visit it humans should move on it and this the poetic device personification is here personification means when we personify a thing which is non living but we personify it as living being like poet here is personifying the road that the road wants something as road is non living thing it cannot feel anything but poet is feeling that it's a living being and it also wants that people should move on it people should come on it he, he, she that road wants to wear people wanted wear means that the road wants that people should come on it and walk on it use it more and more this is why it is called personification i'm repeating again personification means when a non living being is personified as living being a living creature that's why we call it personification here the poet used personification to make its line more beautiful he has personified road that road wants people to vis- to come and visit on it to come and see it to walk on it then had warned them really about the same what does this this mean that the poet says that ki do on by on passing on it he came to know that it's all the same and this road also wants that people should move on it people should come on it and they it wants to be that people should wear it then the next stanza and both that morning equally lay in leaves no step had trodden black oh i kept the first for another day yet 
knowing how they leads on to way i doubted if i should ever come back now but the poet is saying that the poet says that both the roads were covered with leaves that morning and perhaps that morning he was the first one to travel on that road as the leaves were fallen on the road had not turned black by the steps of travelers as the tra- as the travelers walked on it but the leaves didn't turn black so in that during that morning poet was the first one to travel on that road he is telling us that trodden black means they have not turned black leaves were not black with no step means there were no step of any other person that morning apart from the poet poet was the first one to travel on that road then however it seems that he regrets his decision slightly wondering if he will ever get to come back and take the other road now what does he thinking that if i would be able to ever come back and go to another road and see what there was there so he is having a choice his choices are changing he is wondering that what would have happened if you if he will ever get to come back and take the other road oh i kept the first for another day yet knowing how way leads on to way i doubted if i should ever come back what he is saying that ki i doubt that he is regretting his decision that's how sometimes we do in life sometimes we take a decision and then we think that oh whether it was the right decision or not whether we were right or not so in the same way poet is thinking that whether i have taken the right road is it the right thing to do whether i am moving on the right road whether i be, will be able to come back and take the other road he is thinking like that then last stanza i shall be telling this with a sigh somewhere ages and ages hence two roads diverged in a wood and i i took the one less traveled by and that has made all the difference now what the poet is saying in the last stanza in last stanza he is saying that ki after so many years from now when i will be uh, looking at this decision ki somewhere in the future when i'll be looking back and seeing that what decision i took that day then i will see that ki whether the choice was right or not ki whether i have taken the right decision or not whether i have taken the right road or not this indicates that ki he has made, he has made a choice between two things and he will be responsible for his future that will all makes a difference ki whatever the road he has chosen that thing will make difference in his life what does this mean that ki for example two things are there you are selecting one that thing in the present will affect your future ki what you are choosing right now what you are selecting right now that will help your future to build your future or you can and someone can destroy their future also for example you are kids study is important for you but if you will not take care of your studies then if you will not take the right decision regarding your studies it may affect your future in the same way the poet is saying that the decision i am taking today will affect my future i know that the choice that that which is right or not that which which road was right or not it will tell me in the future he will be telling his choice with a sigh with the relief and sigh is what it is uh, releasing a deep breath expressing happiness relief soundness etc so he is having a sigh so in the future he will be telling about his choice with a sigh that's what poet is telling us about he he will be looking back in the future ki somewhere in the future he will be looking back at his choices what choice did he make that day and how it will affect his future if the choice prove to be right then it will be sigh of happiness ki if his choice he will see in the future that yes i have i made a right choice then it will be a sigh of happiness but if the choice proves out to be wrong then it will be a sigh of sadness the poet then feel sadness he will think that maybe i have chosen the other road maybe i could i would have been happy then but 
if he is happy then what he will think that yes i have taken the right decision and that taking taking that road was a right decision for me so what this poem was all about this poem was is more than a poem it's trying to decide that trying to say that ki which road the poet is saying that which road he is going to take and it's poem it's actually a poem about the journey of life that how these two roads are depicting journey of our life and it is diverged into yellow wood symbolizing a person's life that how we have to make choices and those choices affect our present and affect our future also this was all about this poem thank you